Take your time at lunch. I'm talking to Tony, musical genius. We're here and we're gonna have a different conversation that we usually never had before. And I'm asking him a question that you'll pose in my book. How you doing JT? Good, how are you today? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. good so, you. you too. The ladies ask questions all the time of things that they wanna know and they don't wanna know. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy that I say that because I think it's very important about this question. Right. Do you find it easier to lie to your woman or do you think that it's more difficult that she even wants to know the truth? I don't ever lie to my woman. Or, yeah. any, or anybody, for that matter. Okay. Um, so do you think women really want to know the truth? I think it depends. I think they do eventually, maybe not initially. Mm -hmm. uh, they may, uh, but they always decide that they want to know the truth in the end. In the end. So it's better to just go ahead and give them the truth right up front. If there's anything disturbing, you can move past it a little quicker. I agree with that because at least you know exactly what you're getting in the beginning. So is, is, it, is it safe to say that if a woman asks you a question like, um, have you cheated on me? Would it be easy for you to tell her if you have before or would it be hard? Do you really even think she wants to hear the truth and say, well, yes, I, I did? I've never been in that situation. So Really? No. So, and I wouldn't put myself in that situation. Wow. So yeah. you've been in a relationship for how long? What's your longest relationship? Eleven years. Eleven years. Current. Currently. Successfully. Happy. Married for the last four. Congratulations. And you would not put yourself in that situation. Oh no. no. So how do you run away from that situation? I just I don't and I don't ever put myself in a situation where I don't run from it. Mm -hmm. I just don't invite it. Wow. I don't run from it. I just don't invite it. Now that's big. Because I understand exactly what you're saying. Anytime it seems like it's something that can throw you off path, you just go the other way. Well, yeah, the decisions are real easy to me, though. You know, of course, girls will flirt with me occasionally. Mm -hmm. Not quite as much as they used to. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but uh, when that happens, I just kind of take it as a compliment. And I can't wait to get home to my wife every day. I don't know. Get sidetracked. Hold up, I can't stop this yet because we don't hear this a lot. He said, I can't wait to get home to my wife. I don't run from it, I just don't invite it. And this for me alone, looking in the future of saying, I want to be committed to one woman, and I know it's a lot of guys do. Mm -hmm. In your successful relationship, mm -hmm. those things of adversity, everything comes. What did you fall back on to be like, no, this is the woman, I'm going to treat her like a queen, this is the only woman I want to be with, and this is the only woman that I'm going to be with. What are those values you fall back on to do that? I, I don't, I've never strayed from it. I haven't since the day I've been. I don't, I'm not interested in any other woman in that way. So I literally never have that kind of dilemma. Wow. Never. Dang. Well, ladies. It's the commercial break. Today, it got me in awe. We find someone who is completely satisfied with just one woman. And sometimes I hear a lot of people say that and I don't believe it. But I have to be honest and say, I really believe you from man to male that you're telling the truth. And I think it's very important that it is possible to find a great woman and it is possible to find a great man. This is your commercial break with your boy V12. Hey. It is a man's world, but it's nothing without a woman like you. Peace, Tony. Thanks, man.